UFC lightweight division title. contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Oliveira is one year the elder. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mexicala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Islam Makacha. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. DC, round one is upon us, and if you are somebody that enjoys the ground fighting game, this matchup could be custom for you. This fight is made to you, but does the grass try to keep it? Now the transition to the judo throw, right into side control, where he will have no shortage of options. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, 
Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good, solid strike on the ground. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, that's going to do it in a quick tap from there as yeah, he gets it done it by submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fight. Bruce Buffer Ladies has the official decision. Dan Lugliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world is Rob Bogachev. A moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That you're crying. You're crying. <laughs> I mean, almost. A, it, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this.